In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created us. What can be known about God is plain to us because God has shown it to us. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So we are without excuse. Although we know God, we do not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but have become futile in our thinking and our foolish hearts are darkened. Claiming to be wise, we have become fools and have exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man. We have committed two evils. We've forsaken God, the fountain of living waters. And we've dug wells for ourselves, broken wells that can hold no water. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. Everyone does what is right in their own eyes. None is righteous. No, not one. No one understands. No one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together we have become worthless, having no hope, and without God in the world. We fade like a leaf, and our sins, like the wind, take us away. We have all become like one who is unclean and all our righteous deeds are like filthy rags. By works of the law, no one will be justified in God's sight. So the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of humanity. Because of our stubborn and unrepentant hearts, we are storing up wrath for ourselves on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. It is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us. Even when we were dead in our sins, gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the wrath-absorbing sacrifice for our sins. Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, the radiance of His glory the exact imprint of his nature, who upholds the universe with the word of his power. He is the holy and righteous one, the author of life, the Lord of glory, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the word become flesh, God with us. wounded for our rebellion 
and crushed for our sins because the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. God canceled the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. And so God made him who knew no sin to become sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus Christ died for our sins. He was buried. And he was raised on the third day, just as the scripture said. And after making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now the righteousness of God has been revealed, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Now, these things have been spoken so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. For the Lord himself has said, Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. <laughs>